sitting over there. Canyon, Beach Canyon. I know. I still think it's easier to walk out in the part where the where the water's. It's like, I don't know, what would it be like? 300 and grit? I don't know. You can do that. I, I mean, I'm not sure on the grit level. It's fine. But if we go over here, it's nice to easy to walk. What do you say? I'd still give it like 200 for it. I'm just recording whatever's happening. There's LeBlanc. Uh, they have more balconies uh, coming in the this direction. Yeah, those balconies look better. Yeah. It's sick, you know? Yeah, it looks like they have some real balconies in certain spots. It doesn't matter how much they cost. Although, those facing that way probably don't see the sunset. Or sunrise, I mean, because sunrise is usually yeah. over there. Perfect. Even better. Well, they might not see sunset either. But, oh well. That's a valid point. You could see both. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The sargasm or something. I think is what they said at the, they had a moon palace. Do you want to hold this? Filming. Well, I can make the screen show, but for the most part, just point it at what you want to film. It's pretty wide angle. I probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Huh? I probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway, I'm guessing. Yeah. Just aim at it more or less where you think. It's wide. All right.
we're going to the tallest building there. Because I think the tallest building is the one right past Beach Palace. I think Beach is the second tallest over there. Oh. Remember that one on the other side is the tall one. It's taller than Beach Palace. Yeah, you can see the triangle thing. Last year. You maybe you should take this because take the baton. You should walk in front of me then, so I have something to film. Hola. I don't think this is even going to be a very long walk. We're like almost there. Yeah. I, mean, I figure all these places are probably pretty nice. It's a nice balcony. Yeah. What is that? See, this would have been a good time to have the uh, the gimbal for the walk home because the gimbal would have been really smooth. I don't know. Well, I don't think I'm very smooth walking either. I'm exceptionally unsmooth. Mm, I don't know about all that. What is this hotel back here? I think that we're going to be able to keep our buzz. Yeah. We're not far. I think that it would be cool if we got a couple of strand margaritas before we went up. No? Okay. Like, I was going to make a strong drink in the room, but I'm with you. I know, but sometimes I don't drink this very fast. Mm, yeah, good point. 
Are they having a romantic dinner on the beach? I think I am I feel like we should walk over there and film them, but... Oh, duh. That's Cancun. Yeah. We should walk over there and get us some footage. Seems like there's like... Bugs. You got some bugs? For the most part, I seem like there's not a lot of bugs here. Yeah. Hola, senor. You're going scuba diving. Where are the turtles? What? Where? The big one? Yeah. Really? Alright. We're watching out for a big turtle. I feel like we should film it. Well. Be mindful of where you're walking. Yeah, I know. If I had my phone out, we could get lighting. Yes, I am. Can you read the name of that hotel? Apparently there's a big turtle. I think it's right there. But I'm not sure. Mindy's over there in the sand, being mindful of where she walks. We did catch a sea turtle, a little one earlier, and she brought the sea turtle to the sea. Um, and a bird had already tried to pick it up in the sand. That's why we, we got it and tried to move it to the sea. But then, um, and Mindy was right by it, uh, a bird came and plucked it out of the bottom of the ocean. I mean, it was only a couple feet deep, but um, a bird still got it. And it was sad. Uh, but I guess that's why most baby sea turtles don't make it is because the birds are pretty effective. But I guess that's also why they lay so many eggs. Uh, so these resorts, I think, are helping out a lot by having everybody get them to the water. That increases their chances. And I think their numbers have gone up because of this. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a cruel world for the sea turtles. It's pretty rough. It's the Yachty... Zoara. That seems like a hotel that maybe a lot of Americans will stay at. I don't know. I think we lost Mindy. So we'll just hang out for a second. I think she's right behind me. Maybe. Me... We'll see. You never know. more or less nighttime now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her. So be really we, we are. We're, me and the camera are being mindful. Uh, I think we would see a little sea turtle. I saw some trash that left. Oh yeah? We must be in the season, that's for sure. Well, that's why I said we should stay for the sea turtle stuff. Yeah, 
any as well as if you were there or not. Well, we hope. That turtle was ambitious. He was an ambitious turtle. He wanted to go in the daytime. He may have been a confused turtle. He was definitely scared, at least at one point. Okay. I made him feel not scared. You did comfort him. He got to swim in the ocean for a few seconds. At least 30 seconds. Yeah, less than a minute, but probably more, yeah, 30 seconds or so. Just walk really slowly because they could be coming in from the ocean as well as being out from the beach. I'm watching for small okay. black things. Okay. Like even seaweed. Yes. It would be especially tragic if then we killed another turtle by stepping on one. I didn't kill a turtle. I know we didn't, but if one died for that way, you're right, my wording was incorrect. There are some people. Mindy is going to walk in my footsteps. Taking shorter steps so Mindy can stay inside my steps. This has been a pretty fantastic walk from uh, the LeBlanc which is a palace resort that they seem to not talk about because it's too high-end for all the rest of the palace resort people to hang out at it. That's my impression after being there. They don't offer it right after the, off the bat for you to go over there. We're a little too plebeian for that place. Uh, but it's, it's less than a mile down beach from, uh, from the old beach palace, which is a little more, uh, you know, open to us just regular middle-class people I guess lots of loud music at the Beach Palace and guys on announcers and, and you know microphones everybody's jam-packed onto the beach a little bit over at LeBlanc they make you feel special you know partly because the place has a French name I mean, but what does LeBlanc mean? The white? I'm not sure if that's what that means, but if it is, I'm not really sure that's a great thing to suggest, is it? I don't know, though. I mean, do I want to go to Le Noir? I don't feel like you stayed in my footsteps. Maybe I'll stay in your footsteps. Yeah. We'll follow Mindy. It's probably better video anyway. Well, we are approaching the Beach Palace, as you can see. Because I, I'm actually the more uh, definitive feature is the hotel next to it that has that diagonal line um, and a bunch of sort of balconies off their rooms at a 45 degree angle um, and a very loud air conditioner that sort of drowns out the ocean but yet adds a really nice bit of white noise if you want to sleep but if, if it's during the day and you're not trying to sleep it's not really what you're looking for um, you know just an honest review 
of the Beach Palace. Nice place. But it seems to attract all the people from the Moon Palace. Because apparently the Moon Palace's beach sucks. But they can just come over here if they want. Or the beach is better. But the beach at LeBlanc is as good or better and the kids have to sprint if they come on that beach. They have to run away. Like, because no kids are allowed, so they have to run very fast to get to the next beach, otherwise they get in a lot of trouble. Um, which I like. Prefer kids to be running away from me, not towards me. Um, of course, being mindful of the sea turtles. Uh, but yes, in, at the beach palace, the kids do not run away, they run run towards the beach because they're allowed there. Which, uh, not really a plus for those of us that don't have kids. You know, really, sort of, let's just say that's a more inexpensive experience. Uh, I guess that's all I got to say about kids anyway. But having said that, I mean, the kids at the Beach Palace are mostly those of the age that are worried about their tan lines, not infants per se, you know. Um, nonetheless, they're, they're not exactly adult. So there, there's, a, there's a lot of nuance there, you know what I mean? The word kid is a broad term. These hotels over here, however, are very dark. Maybe they're condos, I'm not sure. I'm paying attention. I'm not running over sea turtles. Well, I'm not going to step on that. I, I will not. You want to put a hole in what? Well, I think that'll get taken care of by the tide pretty quickly. I can't really guarantee how many holes I'm putting in pathways. I'm, I'm a pretty big guy, so I make a big depression in the sand. Uh, the, the, your shoes are in the bag. Yeah, we, we... We're being very mindful of sea turtles. We're concerned about their well-being. As you can see, we're about one and a half to two properties from the Beach Palace. The Beach Palace is clearly quite lit up, so I guess where we're staying is pretty popular. It's a good perspective, honestly, on uh, where people stay down here. We're pretty noob on the whole go to Mexico and sit on the beach experience. This is our second time, so. So, uh, so, you know, makes sense that we would end up in a place like that. They're pretty into making sure you always come to those kind of places. You have to definitely do a little mathematics if they try to sell you their, uh, their membership. If you vacation a lot, it's not a bad deal. But otherwise, it really just incentivizes you to vacation a lot, which is okay if you want to vacation a lot. And who doesn't really, right? Of course, we all dream of doing that.